Hey there, fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're at the Rift Valley in Tanzania. And today we're gonna talk about is the difference between brand image and brand identity. Because one thing we can control, we can do something about to have people perceive our brand another way. The other thing, well, it's a little bit harder for us to control because some other people can influence what people think about us, okay? So if we start off and we look at what we call the brand image, this is how our brand is perceived by others. It's kind of like if I tell you, hey, what do you think of Tanzania? Well, you might not have been there. You might not have gone on the great safaris and made the wonderful people who had the good food. You just think, oh, Tanzania, what comes to mind, right? And so that is your perception of it. And that's the brand image is what people think of your product or think of your brand. Now, brand image is based on the impressions and experiences of a consumer. So if all your experience with Tanzania is what you've seen in the news or watching Lion King, well, that's going to influence your brand image for Tanzania, right? And so you have that. And the thing is, is people's experiences can be different for the same product. I mean, think about it. What you think is a good restaurant might be for somebody else, be not a good restaurant. So it's a lot of perception kind of thing. Like how your friends will say, oh, it's a good movie. And you see and go, this movie sucks, right? And so you do have that. So it's really based on your perception and your experiences. And so therefore it's very judgmental. It's very selective about things. I mean, think about it. Is there a restaurant you used to go to all the time because you loved and then you had one bad experience and you're like, I'll never go back there again. Well, the thing is you're very, you're being selective about that one incident. It's like, oh, well, actually all the other times I went there, it was fantastic. But this one time just ruined it for everything. And and so you do see those things. So people can be very selective of how they see a brand. Okay. So that's one thing you got to think about with your brand image. Now, the thing is, is also our brand image can be influenced by external events. For example, right now, superhero movies are super popular. So the fact that we might make a movie about a superhero, we already know that that brand image is, oh, is it like a, a Marvel movie or is it like a DC movie? Oh, it's a superhero movie. We should go see it. Think back 10 years ago, every single movie was about, you know, vampires and stuff like that. Before that, it was, you know, the, the dystopian society and how only young people could change the world and kind of stuff like that. And that's where you kind of look at it is this is really influenced by these external events. That's what's popular right now. And so people do that and that will influence your perception of a brand. Now, the thing is, a brand image is very difficult to manage because it's nothing. These are things that are out of your control. How do I let people know that, you know, the Professor Walters channel will really help them unless they watch? It. They can just think, oh, it's a boring marketing channel. Why would I ever want to do that, right? And so you do have those things. So what companies need to do is they need to manage their brand identity. The brand identity is who or what your brand is. What does it stand for? What do we do? Where, how do we set up our shop? I mean, if you want to be, make it the, the Mark Walters All-American Diner, right? Well, I need red, white, and blue, and I need to make sure we have hamburgers and a cowboy hat and stuff like that, right? So you can kind of control the things that are in there to influence people's perception of your brand. And so we can also put in the actions and performances that we think are important to get that brand identity across that, look, we're a very helpful brand, right? And so I wonder, how do we make sure people realize that? We put in guarantees. We have super helpful people that are going to be there. We answer questions in within 30 seconds and we, we answer the phone call by the second ring. You're doing these things that will then influence how people might see your brand image because you can control that brand identity. We're going to do all these things for our brand identity so people will see this is what we're doing. Now, if they take it that way, that's that's another thing, okay? That's one of the difficulties of it. But the thing is, is your brand identity is what you can control. You can do things to make it a better experience for people, and hopefully that will transfer over to the brand image. And that's the thing is you'll see companies that have really changed their brand image over time. I remember when I was a kid, you know, Honda and Toyota were not seen as good cars. But what they did is they started making better cars, better design, longer lasting. And then over time, doing that with their brand identity by making better cars, the brand image changed. They were no longer seen as bad cars. They were seen as good cars. And so the brand image really did change. Okay. So they kind of both influence each other and we do need to keep control of these things as much as we can. So do what you can to make sure your brand identity is really showing what your brand stands for. And then hopefully that will influence into the brand image. So consumers see that same thing, but just realize sometimes it's out of your control. It could be that someone just had a bad experience at one of your restaurants and they'll never go back again. And your brand image is kind of destroyed from them, but Hey, that's just the way it is. Anyway, it's getting dark here and I want to go, you know, spend a little bit more time looking at the Rift Valley. So I wish you all the best. We have all kinds of fun videos on Tanzania and our other channel if you want to check that out. But if you do like marketing videos like this, do subscribe. We hope it can help you out. Bye from here in Tanzania.